Sheikh Hamza Jope, uh, his books, um, African Art and Civilization, especially Mytho Reality, and also perhaps Pre Colonial Black Africa, and the other one, Culture Unity of Black Africa, that the Nile Valley was the great population center, or at least it was one of the po population centers. And as pressure was brought to bear on the people of the Nile Valley through invasions, those Africans in that part of Africa uh, spread out and filtered to the other part of Africa, other parts of Africa, and migrated to the distant corners of the world. Now, at some point in time, we'll talk at least briefly about migrations. But when you talk about migrations, you have to talk about it in a plural sense. It wasn't one movement. It was a whole series of movements, sporadic, over tens of thousands of years. And so that may be the reason that we have pyramidal-like structures in the Western Hemisphere. I think it's safest to talk about those. Uh, in terms of an Egyptian or Nile Valley connection, you have them in um, Mexico, in Guatemala, in Honduras, in Belize. The problem that I have is the, is the uh, discrepancy in terms of time. The Great Pyramid is built about 4,600 years ago. But most of the pyramids that we see in the Mayan world, for example, were built less than 1,500 years ago. So could it be? That was just that it was an ancient tradition brought to the Americas by Africans that continued, or is there a connection? Another thing you have to ask yourself is what were the pyramids used for in the Americas? Now, from my gathering, a lot of the pyramids, if not all of them, in the Americas, the Inca, the Maya, the Aztec, etc., the Olmec, they were used for religious rituals, whereas the pyramids in the Nile Valley were used for tombs. And so I think that to tie the pyramids of Africa together with pyramidal-like structures in other parts of the world requires a little bit more um, research and a little more corroboration than what I'm currently seeing.